Hi students, in this video we are going to learn about monolithic phase lock loop IC565. So here this SCNE560 series, okay, 560 series include SCNE560, 561, 562 up to 567. Okay, these ICs are differ mainly in their operating frequency range then power supply requirements and frequency and bandwidth adjustment ranges etc okay so here most commonly used ic is ic565 so let's see the explanation about ic565 so here this is the pin diagram this is 14 pin ic so here pin number 1 and 10 are the positive and negative supply then pin number 2 and 3 are the input to the phase detector pin number 4 is the vco output pin number 5 is the phase comparator vco input and pin number 6 is reference output then pin number 7 is demodulated output then pin number 8 timing resistor pin number 9 is the timing capacitance there is no connection in the pin number 11 from 11 to 14 let's see the explanation of the block diagram so this is the block diagram of monolithic PLL so this block diagram consists of phase detector which act as the phase comparator and amplifier a low pass filter that is the combination of resistance 3.6 kilo ohm and capacitance C2 okay the output of the amplifier is fed back to the VCO okay so here uh, if you see this block diagram connection pin number 10 and pin number 1 is power supply positive and negative power supply here pin number 2 and 3 are the inputs for the phase detector so here uh, pin number 6 is reference output pin number 7 is demodulated output then pin number 4 is VCO output normally this VCO output is not internally connected with the phase detector okay if you see this block diagram here VCO is not internally connected with the phase detector if we have to connect with phase detector or phase comparator we need to give external connection between this fourth pin and fifth pin okay it is necessary to connect output VCO to the phase comparator externally then only it acts as the PLL otherwise we will get VCO output only if you are not ex uh, connected externally with the fourth pin to fifth pin the circuit acts as the normal VCO circuit if you connected fourth pin to fifth pin it will be PLL circuit okay then the output of phase detector phase comparator is given to the amplifier the amplifier has two output right the amplifier has two output, one is reference output, another one is demodulated output. So here the low pass circuit is formed by connecting this capacitance, sorry, this resistance 3.6 kilo ohm and the capacitance, that capacitance is connected between pin number 7 and 10. That means the capacitance is connected between demodulated output and the power supply, positive power supply VCC. Normally this capacitance value must be large enough to eliminate the variations in demodulated output and stabilize the VCO frequency. So here pin numbers 8 and 9 are used to connect external resistance R1 and capacitance C1. So these values of R1 and C1 help to adjust the free running frequency to the PLL that means this R1 and R C1 are adjusted uh, that the free running frequency will be center of the input frequency range okay center of the input frequency range so here this value of R1 must be 2 kilo ohm to 20 kilo ohm but this capacitance can, can have any value Okay, this value should be 2 kilo ohm to 20 kilo ohm. But C1 can, value can be any value. Can you understand? So here, 
the output from the amplifier and this R1 and C1 determine the center frequency of PLL. Okay. Next, the center frequency of PLL is determined by the free running frequency of VCO and it is given as F0 is equal to 1.2 divided by 4 R1 C1 heads. Okay, this is the center frequency. Then, lock range of PLL is given as FL is equal to plus or minus 8 F0 divided by V heads. So, this V value, voltage V is equal to V minus of minus V. That means VCC minus of minus VCC. For example, if your power supply value is plus 10 and the negative supply value is minus 10 means the V value is equal to 10 minus of minus 10 means we will get the voltage value is 20. So, this is the voltage. Okay. Then capture range of PLL is given as FC is equal to plus or minus FL divided by 2 pi RC. That means this FC capture range is equal to root of del F. L into F1. So, what is F1? F1 is equal to 1 divided by 2 pi R1C. Okay. So, this R value C2. R1C2. So, uh, take R2C2. R2 value is equal to 3.6 kilo ohm. So, that value if you are substituting here, FL divided by 2 pi 3.6 K into C2. The root value we are taking here the whole power 1 by 2. Okay. Next we will see the derivation of lock range and capture range. Okay. For that we are taking this loop diagram that is phase detector that output is given to low pass filter and then given to the amplifier. After that we will get the VCO. Okay, control voltage, that control voltage is given to the VCO, that VCO frequency is given to the phase detector, VCO output is given to the phase detector. So, we are taking this loop format, okay. So, here the output of analog phase detector, so analog phase detector output is normally we are saying that is error voltage VE, okay. So, this error voltage is equal to K phi into pi minus pi by 2. Phi minus pi by 2. So, here K phi means that is phase angle. Okay. Phase angle to voltage transfer coefficient. And so, here that is phase minus that is pi by 2. Then we are finding the control voltage. So, here we know the error voltage VE. Okay. Then what is the control voltage? Control voltage is the error voltage is given to the low pass filter. So, low pass filter remove the high frequency component. After that, it, it is amplified by the amplifier, right? So, the output of the uh, amplifier is that is control voltage VC. So, VC voltage is VE that is error voltage into the amplifier order gain, right? So, here VE into A. So, what is the VE value? VE value is K phi into pi minus pi by 2 into A. So, this is the control voltage. So, next that control voltage shift VCO from its free running frequency to F, right? So, here it is shift the free running frequency. So, the F value is equal to F0. F0 means free running frequency it is shift to f right so that is depends upon the control voltage into this is the conversion factor kv is the conversion factor normally the conversion factor value is equal to del f not the ratio between frequency free running frequency and the control voltage is called conversion factor so that is conversion factor into vc Okay, so that is, that means F is equal to F0 plus del F0, right? So, the del F0 value is KV into VC. Then, PLL, when PLL is locked, that means input frequency is equal to output frequency, that is VCO frequency, right? F1, when F1 is equal to F0, there, that means there is no phase difference. That means phase phi is equal to 0. If you are substituting phi is equal to 0 in equation number 2, 
so that means the control voltage so this value is 0 then we will get vc is equal to a into k phi into pi by 2 that is the maximum control voltage value that is vc max equal to plus or minus pi by 2 k phi into a okay then from equation number 3 from this equation we are substituting vc equal to vc max okay then we are substituting f is equal to fs then fs is equal to this value so here we are substituting this vc max that means equation number 4 then fs value will be this one so here we are taking this whole value is del fl that means del fl is equal to kv into k phi into a into pi by 2 l means that is log okay so the log range is equal to kv into k phi into a into pi by 2 let's see the values for this so here we know kv is equal to 8 into f naught divided by v k phi is equal to 1.4 by pi then a amplitude is equal to gain is equal to 1.4 if you are substituting all the values in this log frequency then we will get log range is equal to plus or minus 7.8 f naught divided by v okay so the log range of the monolithic pll is 7.8 f naught divided by v then we are going to see the capture range so for capture range we are taking the low pass filter transfer function that is t of j f is equal to 1 divided by 1 plus j into f by f1 okay so here this f by f1 is very very greater than 1 so we are ne neglecting 1 here and also we are substituting j is equal to del if you are neglecting one here we will get like this then we are substituting or instead of j we are substituting del okay j by del so t of del f is equal to f1 divided by del f so here the voltage vc is that means from the figure so here what is the vc value vc is equal to ve after that it goes to low pass filter so low pass filter function we are taking t of f right transfer function t of transfer function then ve into t of f into then gain of the amplitude a so that is vc equal to v in ve into t of f into a okay so here from equation number one already we write equation number one so that is ve maximum is equal to k pi into so this is the equation k phi into phi minus phi by 2. So maximum means when PLL is locked condition that means phi is equal to 0 then we will get k phi into pi by 2. Okay. So we are substituting VC max. We are taking this is VC max. So this value is VE max. Substitute VE max value here. Okay. So here this one is the factor. Kv means that is conversion factor of PLL. That is Kv is equal to del F0 divided by Vc. That means F minus F0 divided by Vc. So if you are finding F minus F0 max is equal to Kv into Vc max. Okay. So here we are going to substitute the Vc max value. So Vc max value. So we are getting F minus F0 the whole square into max equal to kv into this value so already we find this value is del fl that means lock range right so the lock range value is kv k phi pi by 2 into a so this is the lock range value so this is del fc that means capture range is equal to del fl f1 so if you are replace this square that means we will get root of del fl into f1 okay root of del fl into f1 so if you are substituting f1 value is 1 divided by 2 pi r, r, rc that r, r value is 3.6 into 10 power 3 ohm so then we will get del fc is equal to plus or minus del fl divided by 2 pi into 3.6 into 10 power 3 into c the whole power 1 by 2 so this is the capture range so the capture range total capture range is 2 into this value Okay, the total capture range is 2 into this value. This is monolithic PLL that is IC565. 
hope this video is helpful to you please subscribe to watch all the upcoming videos thank you